G'day YouTube, one MJ here and welcome back. Alright, Sunday evening here in Australia, market still just kind of chopping around sideways. Uh, something interesting on the chart and we'll get to that shortly, but first let's look at the markets. Bitcoin dominance has dropped ever so slightly, still kind of 38% though. There's a little bit of volume there, but nothing special. It is the weekend. You know, you can either have not a lot of volume or you get a whole stack of volume because they want to push the market in a certain direction. Bitcoin price sitting at 43,000, so that's nice. It's above 42,000, but at an interesting place and ETH gas price is around about $12. So definitely not cheap, but not as expensive as we've seen it uh, in previous times. All right, top 100, what's done well, considering the market has moved almost 1% to the upside. All right, multi-die collateral, 9% uh, sitting at a dollar. Compound die, uh, up 9% sitting at just over two cents. Spell token up 9%. ADA making a nice move, so there you go, 7%. Phantom, Ecomi, another sort of seven uh, and a bit percent there. Look, some nice moves, but nothing too crazy. What about the losses? How are they looking? All right. Olympus Dow down, Loopring down, Doge down, DeFi Kingdom down. So we got a few down, only one double digit down and then really just kind of mid to low single digit losses. So again, a sideways market. Here's what's interesting though. Let's get to the Bitcoin chart. Look at that. I'll try and zoom in a little bit. We're actually sitting on the outside of this channel. Now, this line here can be moved. Some people will say, oh no, now you've got to move it to more sort of something like this. But I just like where we were getting most of the touches and it was around about there. So that's where I got the line. So at the moment, it's sitting right on the outside of it. But we've seen this before, sitting on the outside of it there, fell over, sitting on the outside of it there, traveled sideways, fell down. So I am still a little bit skeptical whether this is the true breakout yet. We can see that was a complete indecision candle. And then it's just bouncing on it now. But look, it's still early in the day over there. So we've got to wait and see what happens. How do we then make a decision on where we think the market might be going? Well, again, number one, I'll never offer you financial advice. But this is how I do it. What am I going to look at? And ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you right now, it's not simply just looking at charts. They don't give everything away. You've got to take a whole stack of things in. You know, sentiment in the market, what's happening around the world. Lots of things like that going on. But let's just have a look at the other markets because they're, I think, in my opinion, a pretty good indication of where things might be going. All right, here's the total market cap. We're still under this line. So we're built, basically still going down. We got a high and now we've just set in lower highs. Lower highs to that, lower highs to that, lower highs to that, lower highs to that. And it's just constant lower highs at the moment. So we are, as they say, the trend is your friend. Well, the trend's going downwards at the moment. All right, what about the SPX? S&P 500. Lower high, and it's kind of, you know, it's barely trying to get up above this one right now. So it's not looking overly positive at the moment. It's not looking dire. It's just not looking great. All right, so the Bitcoin chart, not looking good. Total market cap, not looking good. SPX 500, not looking good. Again, they're not looking awful. They're just not looking good. What about the industrial, the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average? Not looking good. What about the gold and silver uh, sector index? Not looking good. Setting in new uh, lower highs. So ladies and gentlemen, this is just a very quick one from me because that's really just what I'm looking at at the moment. Crypto is not going to turn around, excuse me, unless all these other markets turn around. And that's going to be the truth. That's not to say crypto can't be the first to kind of lead the way out. It's not likely, but it's not impossible. But we most likely need some other sector to turn around. And at the moment, they're all talking about, oh God, what is it? Uh, inflation and rate hikes and things like that. And so that's going to push people outside of riskier assets and back into safer assets. And whether that's gold and silver, so that might be the one to turn around, but the other ones could still get hit hard. But what we see is a number of markets, and this isn't every market out there, there could be a market that will buck the trend. It's just a little bit unlikely at the moment. They consistently are setting in lower highs. Like look at all these low highs, really outside of this one, this was a lower high, a lower high, a lower high. 
somewhat you know we had again that bounce but still even that high is a little bit lower than here and now another lower high another lower high they're all repeating the exact same kind of not exact same but very similar frac uh, fractals at the moment so they say the trend is your friend well the trend is things are going down I don't know how far it's going down ladies and gentlemen I wish I did I wish I could give you an answer and say look this is where it's going down to and this is how long it's going to take I've got no idea this could have been the bottom and it could be going up it's the same as here all right this could be the bottom and it could be going up this could be the bottom and now it's going up this could be the bottom and now it's going to continue to go up this may be the bottom and this could continue to go up I just don't know ladies and gentlemen I, I, I wish I did I'd love to give you an answer I don't like to kind of make predictions like that like or at least to say that you know this is what's happening I don't know where things are going I'm taking my guesses I'm you know placing my bets and like I said had my buy order in bought a little bit of Bitcoin there I got my buy order in just about down here buy a little bit of Bitcoin down there got my buy order down in around the CME gap buy a little bit of Bitcoin there but I'm just not going to go crazy on anything until I see a true reversal. It'll just be slowly chipping away at things. And I've said this every video for a while now, but I just want to make sure you all know exactly what I'm doing and the reasons why I'm doing it. And if you watch my videos every every day, and hopefully I don't sound like a broken record and I do apologize, but I don't know if there's new people coming to my video. So I'm just letting you know if you are new, I'm not really buying too much at the moment. I'm always buying Bitcoin. But if it's at all time highs, I'm really only buying small amounts of it. I don't like to buy too much of anything at all time highs. I much prefer to try and buy things at a discount. So don't get me wrong, discount is, uh, Bitcoin is at a great discount at the moment. I just don't know if it's the best discount we're going to get in the next sort of few weeks to possibly months, maybe even a year if we are truly in a bear market. And that is something that we have to consider. You don't have to agree with it. You don't have to believe it. I don't think we're in a bear market, but I haven't completely counted it out because if I completely count it out and I'm wrong, I've messed everything up. I've always got what I think is going to happen and then what do I do if I'm wrong and that's not what's happening. So as I said, you know, I had to rebalance my portfolio a while ago, make sure I had more cash. I'm still really sitting on that cash. Again, chipping away at things every now and then. If something seems like it's at a good price, I might put a few dollars into it, but that's about as far as the, uh, it goes because I can't see a market yet that's doing really well, let alone crypto. And crypto is unlikely to do well if all the other major markets are going down. Crypto is considered a bit like a tech stock. They are more risky assets. In boom times, do really well. In times where things aren't booming and everyone's moving to safe assets, generally crypto does not well, does not do well. But we haven't seen how crypto handles through an actual recession. It was built because of a recession, but it's never seen a recession. So we don't have any evidence to say how it would perform or in high inflation and things like that. But generally high inflation means yeah risky assets people just move out of them we'll have to wait and see if that's how it's going to play out in the future and that is the thing that we just don't know at the moment all right quick one for me that's it ladies and gentlemen stay safe be kind to one another very small gains there but yeah i just don't know if they can hold if you think they're going to hold let me know down in the comments and let me know why as well i'd love to know your thoughts till next time I'm out.